Hello everybody, welcome to the part 2 in the Conor McGregor vs Khabib Nurmagomedov first fight series, which is what I'm going to refer to it as because they're probably going to have a rematch at some point in the next few years, if not immediately, depending on the outcome of the fight. First episode, I looked at Conor's wins and losses before that he entered the UFC, and today I'm going to be doing the same with Khabib. Now, before joining the UFC, Khabib was 16-0. If you guys want to see this sort of record review on any other fighters in the build-up of any other fight, make sure you tell me in the comments and I'll get to it. Subscribe if you want to see more of this, and I'll get right into it. Thank you. So, Khabib started off in 2008 in September, fought in Champions League in Russia. He fought Vusal Bayramov. They were both 0-0 at the time. So since then, Vassal has gone 2-5 and five overall in his career. He retired in 2011 and he was finished in every single one of his losses. Next up, Khabib fought Magomed Magomedov in October of 2011 just one month later. He won a two-round decision over Magomed. Going into this fight, Magomed was 0-4 and, and all of his losses were finishes. After the loss to Khabib, Magomed went on to fight a few more times. He ended his career 3-6 and six, and he retired in 2014. I'm not going to make a comment on the matchmaking there because Khabib was still only 1-0 but 0-4 with all finished losses, boxing style record building to me right there. Next up, Khabib. On the same day, Ramazan Kurbanis Malov. I probably said that a bit wrong. Yes, another two-round decision win. Ramazan was 1-0 going into that fight. Ramazan is actually fighting to this day. He fought last year in July of 2017. He is 6-5 and five and he is 29 years old. Both of these guys were 16, 17, 18 in these first few fights, so I'm not really going to make too much judgment. And then again on the same night, three times in one night, and he won three two-round decisions. He fought Shamil Abdul Karimov. Shamil was 2-0 and at the time, and as of now, Shamil is 4-3, and three, and he retired in 2012. So I'm just going to come out and say it. A lot of people sit here and say that Khabib's record is padded. And that's not to say he's not a good fighter. But I don't think it's untrue to say that his record is padded. Because here, when Khabib is 4-0, and the next year he fights August 2009 against Saeed Ahmed. So the thing I want to know with this Saeed Ahmed fight is that Saeed was 0-0 fighting a 4-0 in this fight, and he got TKO'd in two minutes and never fought again. So that's the first bit of questionable matchmaking that I'm going to bring up as an actual proper point. Because that 0-4 one, eh, he was 1-0, not really much to look into, but 4-0 fighting 0-0 and then retiring the guy seems a bit much to me. Next up, Khabib is 5-0. On the same day, he fights Eldar Eldarov. It's a round two TKO. Now, as of now, Eldarov is actually 10-1, actively fighting in Brave, and he has eight finishes out of his 10 wins. So he is a good fighter. So he has got on to have rampant success, obviously. So this is his first reputable win, I would say, on his record. November 2009, Khabib fights Shambulat Shamhalab. He wins in a first round armbar and M1 challenge. Shambulat retired in 2014, but he went on to fight in Bellator and he went 11 and 3 in his career. He was subbed twice in a row by Pat Karan and Costa da Silva in Bellator in 2013, 2014. But he had a good record of seven KOs, three decisions, one other. So again, good fighter. So again, another fighter who went on to have longevity and didn't just get retired right after the pummeling that he received from Khabib. Next up, Khabib is 7-0, June 2010. He took like half a year to train, I suppose. Golden Fist, Russia. Two-round decision win over Ali Bagov. So at the time of this fight, Khabib was 7-0 and and Ali Bagov was 2-1. and Now the thing is, Ali Bagov is actively fighting to this day with a 27-10 and record. He has been finished eight times via KO and submitted one. But on the other hand, out of his 27 wins, he has 24 finishes, 22 of them being submissions. He's actively fighting in ACB, having five fights in the last year and a half all wins. So again, another guy with a longer career who's actually gone on to do big things because ACB is a very reputable organization. Next up, September 2010, Khabib fights Vitaly Ostrovsky. At the time, Khabib was 8-0. and oh. Vitaly was 4-3. and three. Khabib won with the round one TKO. Since then, Vitaly went on to go 8-11 and 11, and he retired in 2012. February 2011, Khabib is 9-0. and oh. He fights Alexander Agafano. TKO second round corner stoppage. Alexander was 4-1 and one at the time and is now retired since 2011 with a 5-3 and three record. So these are a bit iffy for me, but but like not really enough to make a point on because obviously I don't know the people's backgrounds and you know I'm not going to sit here and say that 4-3 and three and 4-1 and one isn't a good record because what am I who am I to say that Khabib is now 10-0 and 0, and he fights Saeed Khalilov in April of 2011 he gets a round one Kimura Saeed at the time was 12-9 and 9, and since then he went on another three loss streak which was a part of a five loss streak which the Khabib loss was included in went 12-13 and 13 and retired in 2014 now this one I might say is a little in eh, because obviously you know Saeed 12-9 and 10-0 10 and 0, they're building his career up, but I feel like at the point that you're in 10 and 0, that's when you're like a hot prospect nowadays. Khabib now is 11 and 0. May 2011 fights Ashot Shai Shahinyan. He gets a round one KO, and at the time of this fight, Ashot was 0 and 2. That's right, they booked an 11 and 0 versus an 0 and 2. Now that is some Russian matchmaking if I've ever seen it. And for some reason in my notes here, I have arm wrestler written down, so maybe I googled this guy and something about arm wrestling came up. Let me check that real quick. Oh, I think that was just a stupid note because his association on Sure Dog says arm fighting. <laughs> 
Since then, Ashot went 2-5 and five and retired in 2014. Khabib is now 12-0 and, and in July of 2011, he fights Kazjik at Azyayan. He gets a round one triangle choke. This was a 12-0 Khabib versus a 1-1 and one Kazjik. And since then, Kazjik went on to go 3-6 and six and retired in 2013. Now again, this is another example I feel of. That's two fights in a row, by the way. He fought 0-2 and 1-1 and and when he was 11-0 and 12-0. and 12 and 0. So that's pretty dodgy to me. Khabib now 13-0 and 0 goes on to fight Hamiz Mamedov in August 2011. He gets another round one triangle choke. Hamiz was 4-3 and three at the time and is now 8-4. and four. He retired in 2014 on a four-win streak of finishing. Now, I'm not going to say this one is ridiculous, but 13-0 and 0 versus 4-3 and three, kind of question. I can't really picture many promotions nowadays where you would see that. Khabib now 14-0 and 0, goes on to fight Vadim Sandulski in September of 2011. He gets another round one triangle choke and Vadim was 0-0 oh oh at the time. Yes, he had zero fights. They booked 14-0 and 0 versus is O and O. Since then, Vadim has gone eight and four, and he hasn't fought in the last two and a half years. But I feel that is highly questionable. Fourteen and over versus O and O. That's terrible matchmaking for that. Guy. Now again, maybe Vadim had a background in some sambo or something, and that's why they decided that was good enough to book it. Or maybe they just didn't care and they just wanted to build Khabib up. And Khabib's final fight outside of the UFC, he fought Ari Marcel Santos in the same promotion, Pro FC, in October of the same year, 2011. He got a round one TKO. Santos was 28 and 23 at the time, another like barely, barely positive record. As of now, Santos is 40 and 35 and he fights three to five times a year with wins and losses coming in bunches and that's about it for all of Khabib's fights inside of the UFC so now I'm just going to go back and list the ones that I feel are questionable so 4-0 Khabib fights Saeed Ahmed 0-0 that's questionable Khabib 11-0 fights Ashad who is 0-2 that is extremely questionable he then fights 12-0 against Kadzik who is 1-1 extremely questionable he also fights Vadim when he's 14-0 who is 0-0 extremely questionable. So that's at least four fights that really in a good commission wouldn't even be sanctioned. You could probably make arguments for a few other ones like I would say maybe the Saeed Khalilov looking at his record in hindsight was maybe questionable but at the time maybe they were just trying to build him up and give him someone with more experience because before that he was fighting a lot of people who barely even had five fights. They're trying to give him some experience against someone who had more experience and maybe his second fight when he fought Magomed Magomedov who was 0-4 but again that fight was when he was fighting three times in one night so I don't know what to make of that. That and they were two round decisions so I don't really know what to make of that and I don't know if it's my place to say so yes that has been about it for this video if you guys did enjoy it I want to see more of this series then let me know in the comment section suggest any other fights you want me to do a record review on before their current promotion I feel this series would mainly be good for championship fights because if I'm going to look at their career before say the UFC or Bellator or whatever big promotion they're in now I'd have to be able to differentiate between their streak in that promotion and beforehand in the career so let me know anyone you want me to do and that's about it subscribe for more episodes of record review and other MMA stuff I hope you enjoy Thank you for watching. Goodbye.